Urban Ministry, where faith and activism meet. Here's your host, Brother Leon Prophet to the streets and pastor to the people. What's going on, Truth and Life Urban Ministry? What is going on? I am your pastor, Pastor Leon Prophet to the streets, pastor to you good people. Let's go on in this piece. The one thing that I wanted to say today, has the rapture taken place? Has the rapture taken place? Because the one thing that I want you guys to understand and know, where are our women? Where have the women gone? What we see now is very masculine. What we see now is very toxic. And the crazy thing about it is that we can blame us as men for creating the atmosphere that has created today's modern woman. And so today I want to play a clip from T.D. Jakes. But the one thing that I want you guys to understand and know is this. Is that Proverbs 21 verse 9 says that it is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house or in a wide space. And so the one thing that I want you guys to understand and know is that a lot of times that brawling may not be physical. Sometimes that brawling can be emotional. Sometimes that brawling can be in communication. Because the one thing that I want you women to understand about men is that men are problem solvers and men want to be needed. And I am sorry for the lesser men, the negative men, the sorry men, the cheating men, the unfaithful men, the abuse of men that you have come in contact with men who didn't live up to the expectation that you thought men who didn't live up to the potential who didn't live up to what you imagined them to be or what you saw that they could be but the one thing that I want you ladies to understand and know is this that is not every man and the one thing that I will say is this there are so many women that complain about Men that complain about he a sorry father, he this, he that. But the crazy thing about it is that you are the common denominator. You still chose that man. And I know I ain't supposed to say stuff like that. But as sorry as he is. Or was. You still chose him. There was something about him that wooed you. And so today I want to ask. Where are our women? Because we're losing them. We're losing their femininity. We're losing their virtue. And the crazy thing about all of this is that it's almost like the virtuous woman, the feminine woman, she's going to be obsolete. And the crazy thing, we're going to have feminine bodies women bodies but masculine psyche and so you have to ask yourself was Steve Harvey's book a prophecy was that a prophecy that was supposed to take place for today act like a lady think like a man because now these women are actually thinking and speaking and acting like men And femininity, you can turn off like a light switch. And submission is transactional now. What has happened? What has happened? Where now, even being a virtuous woman isn't popular. But the crazy thing now is that you got all these women 
that are promoting masculine energy. And the crazy thing about it is that these women got husbands. You are the one that's still alone. I'm telling you, man, will you please? When you look at all of these artists and entertainers, you have to understand that it's entertainment, that it's art. It is not reality. Sometimes we take other people's art and we try to make it our reality. We try to make Netflix our reality. We try to make Tyler Perry movies our reality. We try to make porn our reality. We try to make music videos our reality. When all it is is art. Some of that art might be twisted and perverted, but it is art nonetheless. And so today, I want to ask the question, where are our women? Because we're losing. And what will we have left? Because now even marriage is going out the window. What will we have left? When you say you don't need us, but yet want to be protected by us. When you say that your submission is transactional. But yet you submit to every other man except the man you in covenant or the man that's under your roof. You submit to the mechanic. You submit to the police officer. You submit to the doctor. You submit to the trainer. You submit to your male boss. But yet, transactional submission when you are in relationship. And this is the reason why I ask, where have all our women gone? Because somewhere along the line, femininity has gotten twisted. Feminism has come in and it has created a monster. Because it was toxic femininity that came in. And now there's entitlement without responsibility or accountability. And now you want the benefits of a man, but you don't want the burden that comes with that man. And so I asked the question, where have all our women gone? Yeah, everybody's had a hard life, sister. Everybody has grown up with toxic something. But does that negate or take away the responsibility of you being whole? Or do you put it on somebody else to make you that way? So I want to play this clip by T.D. Jakes. Y'all can get mad at him, but I agree with everything he done said. So listen to this clip. This breaks all sociological order that the culture we're living in now. Because we are raising up women to be men. And you are not applauded for your femininity. You are applauded in the contemporary society by how tough, rough, nasty, mean, aggressive, hateful, possessive you are, and you are climbing the corporate ladder, but we are losing our families. I know you can buy your own car. I know you can buy your own house, but until you create a need that I can pour into, I have no place in your life. So stop coming home bragging to me about how much you don't need me and wonder why I shy away. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk back to me this morning. The conversation has become, let's prove to the men how in the, how dispensable they are. And it is born out of pain because we hurt you and betrayed you and lied to you and cheated to you. And you became like you became out of pain. But watch what is born out of pain. That that is born out of pain is the way you cope with disorder. Yo, I got that off of caliber. So I want you to go listen to what he is saying. 
But I want to take this clip and I just want to go back in here so you can hear what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you right now, man, we have a problem. And if T.D. Jakes is saying it, and one thing that I want you to know about church, church has always been driven financially by women. Women are dominating in church. They outnumber the men. When it comes to money, when it comes to power and position, you have more women that are excelling in the house of God. So if this man, if this prophetic voice sees this, then yeah, we got something wrong. Because the crazy part is, is that now you got to understand when you say stuff like this, your money is on the line. But the one thing that I will say is that he did come with those women that are loose conventions. So this is an area that women need to be loose from. You can't sit up here and say that it's women's empowerment, but yet you lose out. And yet the structure and the formation and the perfect will of God isn't in your home, which is a two-parent household. So I want you to go to blackdemographics.com and look at the stats on black marriage. And you will see how there is a 12% divorce rate in our community and women at times, most times, are the ones that file. And so I'm telling you today, we got to begin to wake up. And this is the reason why I asked, where are our women? Has the rapture taken place? Because at the end of the day, This is all that we are left with. And if you have sons, and if you feel like you don't need a man, you're going to emasculate that boy. And where are are the women going to be at for him? Because we are birthing a generation that doesn't need each other, but feels like that they're entitled without responsibility or accountability. And that's what we're birthing today. The strongest man in the house is a woman because the boy doesn't see a man and the only man he sees is the masculine energy that he's getting from his mother and then to a certain degree his mother despises him because he looks like his father and she's functioning with him and relating with him out of hurt and pain so somewhere it has to stop so I'm telling you women you have to be free And we as men, we got to make it better. We got to make the atmosphere better. Because women only birth good things when they're in a good atmosphere. When they're in good climate. And that don't mean taking them to Maui, Bora Bora. I'm talking about emotional climate. And we have to be consistent with that. And women, you got to choose better. Just like us men, we got to choose better. Don't fall in love with the imagination of a man. Love the reality with him that you see. Because too many of us, as men, have fallen in love with the imagination of a woman. And too many women have fallen in love with the imagination of a man. Only to be disappointed by the reality that we see in him. So I'm telling you, we got to wake up. We got to be the type of people that choose better, that do better, but be men, masculine, and women, feminine. Because I'm telling you right now, what is on the horizon is this, is that if you do not want to be feminine, the transgender women will take up that cause, and they will take your place and tell you that they are better than you. Because they know how to treat a man. So I'm telling you what's on the horizon. And if you don't want nobody taking your spot, if you don't want these other women in other communities taking your spot, I'm telling you, wake up. Because you only hear this in the black community, in communities of color. All these niggas ain't shit. Somewhere it has to end. And to be honest, you only get what you are. 
So you have to change your conversation and you have to change your mindset. Because somewhere along the line, you chose that man. And you became what he was. And that that is the one thing that women have to be conscious of. That a lot of times you transform into the relationships that you're in. You morph into what that man is. And if you can't win him by conversation or he doesn't want change because you're in his life and now you're you're opening his eyes to it, then maybe that's not the place. You can't pray away or sex away internal trauma and red flags. So I don't think that you can. I don't care what your sexual prowess is. It ain't going to make that man be faithful and it sure as hell ain't going to make that man come up and come out. God has to do the healing. You ain't the healer. Yeah, Marvin Gaye did come up with this song, Sexual Healing. But I'm going to tell you, sexual healing can't heal internal traumatic childhood pain and experiences. So women, I do not want you to lose your femininity. But in the same token, I don't want you to be masculine either because that's functioning out of survival mode. We have too many women functioning out of survival mode. I want you guys to be blessed. When you have truth and life, you have freedom. Follow Truth and Life Urban Ministry on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Like, share, and subscribe to Truth and Life Urban Ministry.